You are welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Open Heaven's is written by Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 19th day of February 2021. And our topic for today is, How Desperate Are You? Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we give you praise. Thank you for this privilege to come before you. Lord, we've come that we'll be blessed again one more time by your word. Please shower upon us one more time again and cause us that we'll be guided by your word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Genesis 32 26 reads, And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Genesis 32 verse 26. Our Bible reading is from the same book of Genesis 32. We'll be reading verse 24 to 30. Genesis 32 verse 24 to 30 reads, And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince thou hast power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father in the Lord tells us in today's devotional that there are many blessings that have been prepared for God's children, but many do not receive them because they are not just desperate enough. In our Bible reading for today, Jacob wrestled with God because he was desperate for a blessing. Mark chapter 2 verse 4 to 5 records that the paralyzed man was healed because he and his friends were desperate for his healing. I tell you, if only you can be desperate, that issue you have been waiting on God for could have been history by now. Unfortunately, some Christians take unpleasant situations as their fate. That shouldn't be. There is nothing you cannot change if you approach God desperately. There was a festival of arts in one of the northern states in Nigeria some years ago, and some of the people who went from the south were involved in a fatal accident on their way back. There was a young man, a Christian, who was also involved in the accident. He was among the few survivors, but was in a coma for days. Once in a while, he would come out of coma and shout just one word, Jesus, then go back into unconsciousness. One day, he came up again and said, Jesus, then opened his eyes and continued, Death You are not going to have me. I refuse to die. I am sure he was at the verge of dying, and he fought and overcame. The forces of darkness and hell could not hold him down because he held desperately unto Jesus. Are you going to let the devil hold you down in that situation? Are you going to give up hope and let the devil have his way? You must be desperate in your prayers today. You must tell the devil no way. I am not going to let you have the last say over this matter. Now go ahead and pray to God concerning that stubborn matter. Tell him that you will not rest until he has answered you. Keep calling the name of Jesus concerning that situation. Today is your day of freedom. If you don't have anything to pray about, pray for someone else or you can pray for me. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's devotional is just a charge to put in a desperation in our spirits 
to ensure that we don't just remain lackadaisical and lukewarm. In Mark chapter 2 verse 4 to 5 that our Father and the Lord stated earlier, we know the story of the paralyzed man whose friends had to pass him through the roof to bring him before Jesus and he was healed. Sometimes we need to act with desperation. Our enemy, the devil, is not just going to sit back and let you take all that you want to have, even if it is rightly yours. There is no place for gentleness in this kingdom. If you must take over, you must apply force and be brutal against the enemy. No matter what it is that you are seeking for, if you search for it desperately, you would get it. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 says, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all of your heart. Also learn that the words of your mouth carry power. Your confessions go a long way. What are those situations that the enemy may have placed in your front? The way you respond to them will go a long way to determine if you would succeed over them or not. The Lord was speaking unto Moses in Numbers 14 verse 28 where he said, Say unto them as truly as I live, see the Lord, as ye have spoken into my ears, so will I do to you. If you are careless with your words, then you will be sure to pay for it. Engage him like your life depends on it. James 5 verse 16 tells us the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The Amplified Version will tell you that the earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man maketh tremendous power available, power that is dynamic in its working. So you must not keep short. What are those things that the enemy may have been stealing from you because of your silence? Right now, you close your eyes and begin to pray desperately. You know that long-standing issue in your life, that thing that keeps you up at night thinking, do not take it easy with the devil. Open your mouth now and begin to declare and confess concerning that thing. Take them by force. Be desperate about it. Receive it today. Call the name of Jesus over that situation. Take charge of it and declare to the enemy that he has no place anymore. Get angry in your spirit. Scripture tells us that even the lawful captives will be set free. Pull yourself out of any captivity that you have been kept in. We declare freedom. We declare liberty. We declare that yokes are broken today in the name of Jesus. We are victorious and we take it by force. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father and our King, we bless your name for today's word. We thank you, Lord, for helping us to pursue, to overtake and to recover all. Thank you for recovering all that the enemy has stolen. We ask that this victory remains permanent in our lives in the name of Jesus. Cause us, O God, that from this day onwards, would be desperate people, manifesting your power and gaining victory over the devil. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our Father in the Lord joins his faith with ours today and decrees that our answers will come speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. We are glad that you did join us. If you'd like to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well to bless someone also by sharing this. Have a great and victorious day ahead in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.